joyful noise makers. Hi friends, it's me, Miss Mary. I am so excited to be with you and to share some time with you. It's after Christmas, but guess what? It's Epiphany. We are in the season of Epiphany, which means the Magi, the wise men, have come January 6th, and we celebrate Epiphany all the way through Lent. What? I'm so excited to sing some songs with you, to read some books, to see some artwork, but most of all, I hope we have some fun together. Shall we begin? The Lord be with you, and also with you. Alleluia, alleluia. Let's get started. Listen, friends, because we are in Epiphany, we can still sing Christmas songs. This is one of my favorites. Here we go. Go tell it on the mountains, over the hills, and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountains that Jesus Christ is born. While shepherds camp their watching, or silent flocks by night, behold, throughout the heavens there came a holy light. Go tell it on the mountains, over the hills and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountains that Jesus Christ is born. The shepherds feared and trembled when low above the earth ring out the angel chorus that hailed our Savior's birth. Go tell it on the mountains, over the hills and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountains that Jesus Christ is born. Down in a lonely manger, our humble Christ was born. And God sent us salvation that blessed Christmas morn. Go tell it on the mountains, over the hills and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountains that Jesus Christ is born. Can you tell I really like that song? <laughs> And while we're at it, we should sing this song, friends. Oh, come, little children, oh, come, one and all, to Bethlehem haste, to the manger so small. God's Son, for a gift, has been sent to you this night to be a redeemer of love and delight. That's also one of my favorite songs. Friends, I want to share this book with you. In the Bleak Midwinter, this is one very special Christmas song that was set to a book and illustrated. In the Bleak Midwinter, frosty wind made moan. Earth stood hard as iron, water like a stone. Snow had fallen, snow on snow, snow on snow. In the bleak midwinter, long, long ago, Our God, heaven cannot hold him, nor earth sustain. Heaven and earth shall flee away when he comes to reign. You see, look, her father's helping his father. In the bleak midwinter, a stable place sufficed the Lord God Almighty, Jesus Christ. Look, she looks like she's knitting. She's watching her daddy. 
angels and archangels may have gathered there. Cherubim and seraphim thronged in the air. Cherubim and seraphim are, are angels. But his mother only in her maiden bliss worshipped the beloved with a kiss. What can I give him, poor as I am? Look, are there more people coming? They're playing a concert. If I were a shepherd, I would bring a lamb. Look, they are coming to join them. If I were a wise man, I would do my part. Yet, what I can give him, I wonder what she's going to give him. I wonder what we can give him. Give my heart. That's the best gift, isn't it? Giving your heart. So that song goes like this. It's almost like a lullaby. In the bleak midwinter, frosty wind made moan. Earth stood hard as iron, water like a stone. Snow had fallen, snow on snow, snow on snow. In the bleak midwinter, long, long ago. Listen, friends, we're going to start off with this artwork today. It's a star, and just like the wise men, the magi, they followed that star. I wonder if any of you saw the Bethlehem star earlier a few weeks ago before Christmas that was in the sky. Well, one of my friends painted this for me, and you may remember it because I've shown it to you before. And I'm going to bring it real close to you because you can see her brush strokes and the texture of this paper, if I get it just right. But I love this bright star, and I thought it was perfect for Epiphany season. The next two are mixed media. Remember mixed media? So it's using several different kinds of things. Um, and these are winter scenes. This one is using, she's got construction paper. And then wait, magazine articles that she used to make it look like a bird tree. And another piece of paper that she cut out looked like a bird with its little eye. And I'm gonna pull it back again so that you can see that bird on the birch trees in the snow. Now we don't have a lot of snow here. Boo, Miss Mary wants snow. But speaking of snow, I have some special little friends in Minnesota. Hi, Tilly. Hi, Otto. Hi, Etta. I have a lot of snow and I'm a little jealous. So here again is another one, another piece of art using the same kind of technique. She's got words cut from magazines to look like the birch tree and pieces of paper for the birds. And look, that's a V up close. But when you pull it back, you can see that it's birds flying away. I think that's really a beautiful kind of thing to think about. That sometimes if you look at something too close, you can't see what it really is. You have to step back and look at the whole picture. And I love these two cardinals, maybe a red bird in the bushes. Friends, I would love to see your artwork. If you have any you'd like to share with me, or have a special message you'd like me to share, I'd be happy to do it. Friends, I've had this song stuck in my head for about a week now, but it's okay, because I really like it. See if you remember it. 
I have a song that Jesus gave me. It was sent from heaven above. There never was a sweeter melody. Tis a melody of love. In my heart there rings a melody. There rings a melody with heaven's harmony. In my heart there rings a melody. There rings a melody of love. I have a song that Jesus gave me. It was sent from heaven above. There never was a sweeter melody. Tis a melody of love. In my heart there rings a melody. There rings a melody with heaven's harmony. In my heart there rings a melody. There rings a melody of love. It's our last song. I thought I'd close with one of our very best friend songs, at least mine. If I were a butterfly, I thank you, Lord, for giving me wings. And if I were a robin in a tree, I thank you, Lord, that I could sing. And if I were a fish in the sea, I'd wiggle my tail and I'd giggle with glee. But I just thank you, Father, for making me me. Cause you gave me a heart and you gave me a smile. You gave right up to you. And if I were an octopus, I thank you, Lord, for my good looks. But I just thank you, Father, for making me, me. Cause you gave me a heart and you gave me a smile. You gave me Jesus and you made me a child. And I just thank you, Father, for making me, me. If I were a wiggly worm, I thank you, Lord, that I could squirm. And if I were a crocodile, I thank you, Lord, for my big smile. And if I were a fuzzy buzzy wear, I thank you, Lord, for my fuzzy wuzzy hair. But I just thank you, Father, for making me me. Cause you gave me a heart and you gave me a smile. You gave me Jesus and you made me a child. And I just thank you, Father, for making me me. I think I said muzzy wuzzy fuzzy hair. <laughs> Friends, I hope that you had as much fun getting back to it as I did. Before we go, you know I like to remind you of three things. One, hug your people. I'm hugging Chloe. Hug them tight. Hold them, hold them, hug them tight. Two, smile. Or better yet, find a way to make someone else smile by either giving them your kind smile first or saying something or doing something kind to someone. And finally, my friends, know that you are loved. Our time has ended. Now go in peace. Alleluia. Alleluia. Bye, friends. I'll see you next time. Those soldiers just kicking back, leaning back. Take a little rest. Very strong soldier. This one needed a nap. So that one's keeping watch. Napping. This guy woke up from his nap. But now he's tired. Don't worry. He's standing guard. Well, he snoozes. I think he's trying to tie his shoe, but maybe he can't quite reach it. We have a reindeer down. A reindeer is down.